everyone, this is Courtney. I was able to find an example student proposal from last semester um, that was uploaded uh, when all of the students were uploading drafts, just like you were going to be doing on Tuesday. So I thought it would be a really good idea for us to just go over this example together. I can explain to you its strengths and weaknesses, and um, hopefully this will help you write your own proposal. About half of you struggled with the report, and I felt bad. I, it seemed like you just got lost in all of that explanatory information that I threw at you. So I wanted to do this for the proposal. Okay, we're going to be looking at reduction of UC's grid power use with solar-powered charging stations. Okay, um, this title page looks pretty good. It includes everything that the RFP asks you to include on your title page including a reference to the RFP, your name, and the date. And another thing I like is that there are no colons here after these little words. Um, you always see them there, but they are technically incorrect, and there are some people that will notice. So I would say don't include these colons unless you're specifically told to. Okay. Table of contents. So you can see he has everything here. And his page numbers aren't here yet because um, he hasn't fleshed out his draft yet with all of the information that he wants to include. And you'll see as we move forward that uh, he puts little notes in parentheses, include data on this or include this estimate here. Um, so table of contents, always a good thing to do after you've finished your document, because then if your page numbers have changed, it's not a problem. All right, so let's just read this together. Introduction. Sustainability has been a growing topic across the country and is a priority of the University of Cincinnati. The UC Sustainability Committee, PACES, has issued a request for proposals to help enhance UC's growth and sustainability. This proposal is in response to this request, RFP number blah. Okay, good. So he's doing just what the RFP asks for in the introduction, referring to it, the RFP. Their proposal is a project to install solar-powered charging stations on the UC campus. The current UC student body consists of X number of total enrolled students. Most of the student body uses cell phones, laptops, and tablets that require periodic charging. The SPCS will supply sustainable and renewable energy to recharge these devices. These stations will cut down the overall campus power use and also cut down use of grid power. Okay, possibly insert average power savings. All right, so again, good. Second paragraph, good. He's introducing his plan as well as the need it addresses by explaining um, how many students there are and all of these things that they charge. Um, and then he's introducing his selling points. Well, I'm not sure how his plan is going to overall to reduce overall campus power use. Um, I can see how it will reduce use of grid power, but we'll see. Okay, so I want to tell you now, I'm just going to introduce to you his selling points, his four selling points. And then as we go through, you'll see how he does or does not incorporate them appropriately into each of the sections. Okay, so if you want, you can write these down to remember them, but you don't have to. Um, his first selling point is that his plan will reduce the use of grid power or power created by non-renewable sources of energy. His second selling point is that it will reduce carbon emissions. Okay, that's good. It um, targets what the RFP asks for. His third selling point is that it will create opportunities for student involvement. Um, and he explains how it will do that in his plan of action. And his fourth selling point is that it will reduce spending on energy. Okay, so keep those in mind. Background. UC has steadily been working to reduce energy consumption across campus. Here I will discuss the current energy consumption and past consumption to the reduction. The SPCS will further add to the reduction of energy consumption. These stations will assist UC in reaching its sustainability goals within the UC Master Plan, possibly at Book Park. Okay, good. So he's setting up uh, the current situation and incorporating his plan into UC's overall goal of reducing energy consumption. And by that, I believe he means energy consumption from non-renewable resources. According to a study done by Ball State, 99.8% of the college students 
own and use a cell phone of some kind reference. If we apply this percentage to the student body of UC, X students use a cell phone. Add power required to charge a smartphone. Current phones have blah, blah. Okay, again, good. So here he's talking about the problem that all of these students are using this much power um, and UC wants to reduce its power. So we're proposing a way to do that. SPCS can supply anywhere from 6 to 10 charging ports for laptops and cell phones or tablets. The power is supplied by 2 to 3 solar panels attached to the stations. If UC installs 2 to 3 stations, it will allow 12 to 30 students to charge electronics. This will come back on a total of X, calculate number of power savings. Okay, um, so this paragraph um, doesn't belong in background. Here he's actually introducing his plan. Um, so that needs to go obviously in plan of action. It doesn't belong here. And he needs to introduce a couple of more a couple more topics here in the background section. So his selling points again are to reduce use of grid power and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But if we look, he doesn't explain how much of UC's power comes from the grid and how much comes from renewable resources. So that's really important if he's going to explain that his plan reduces grid power and introduces a renewable energy source. He has to explain that that's not happening right now. And then he's also going to have to talk about um, how many carbon emissions are released by UC um, because of our use of non-renewable resources because again one of his selling points is that his plan will reduce carbon emissions so he has to make that a problem in his background and then finally he needs to talk about how much UC spends on energy in in a year or a given number of time because one of his selling points is that his plan will reduce spending so he's set up about half of his problem here He's got to keep going to hit all four of those selling points or to make them all look good as he continues. Okay, objectives. Installation of SBCS will improve UC sustainability and lessen its environmental impact by reducing the grid power use by supplying sustainable green energy for charging electronic devices, reducing greenhouse gas emissions by the reduction of grid power use, creating opportunities for student involvement through development of a team to build and maintain stations, securing charging locations across campus. Okay, so um, the first three of these are really good. Um, the fourth one is actually a feature of his plan rather than a selling point. It, it just says what he's going to do, not what goal his plan tries to accomplish. Okay. And he also needs to put another objective in here, reducing UC spending on energy, because that's one of his selling points. So objectives are basically your selling points. Okay, plan of action. The proposed plan is to install two to three charging stations across campus. The locations for the stations will be set in high student traffic areas. Each station will be fitted with two solar panels that supplies power to battery storage within each station. A team or department will be created consisting of students and faculty within the College of Engineering and Applied Science. This team will construct and maintain the charging stations. Okay, currently UC does not have any renewable energy sources that are being used on campus. This project will allow UC to create sustainable energy that can be used daily. Okay, so here <laughs> we have evidence that he has not completed the background section uh, describing his problem because this part is describing the problem that his plan of action fixes. He's realized he didn't say that yet, and he needs to say in his background. So take this out, put it in background. Okay, and then as far as his plan of action, um, this is a good idea, but we need a lot more detail, and he has to make the decision. He can't say you're going to choose to install two or three charging stations. He needs to tell Paces exactly how many stations to install. He also needs to talk about where those high student traffic areas that they need to be installed in are. 
Um, and then he needs to go into detail about who's going to install them, um, how, like, which materials you're going to need to install them. Are you going to need, like, an excavator to dig out of the ground? Are you going to need something to pour concrete? Uh, what are you going to need? How much time it's going to take? And then he needs to flesh out this plan, which is a cool idea, um, to form a team or department of students and faculty that will maintain the stations. Okay, so for example, how many students and faculty will want to get involved? All of them? Or is this going to be part of a specific class? Is it going to be a sort of uh, engineering service hours? What is this? So you have to, he needs to fully explain that. Okay. Cost estimate. I have not finished the estimated cost to construct a charging station. Cost analysis will include cost of material and labor. The students will not be paid. Estimated energy savings and a return on investment based on the purchase capital and energy savings. Okay, so good. We can see that he's going to include exactly how much it will cost to install the charging stations. Um, to maintain the charging stations with the students and faculty um, and a return on investment okay based on how much energy is saved from the grid okay so good now benefits okay first of all I like that this benefits section is divided with headings and it corresponds to his um, well, to almost all of his selling points, but... Okay, reduce grid power use. SPCS supply power through the solar panels mounted to the roof of the station. These panels produce sustainable energy that is then transferred to batteries for storage. This power reduces the use and need of grid power. Okay, excellent. But we also need an estimate of how much power uh, that will save from the grid. Because the RFP specifically asks us to make estimates whenever possible. Okay, next, reduced GHG emissions. Grid power is created by processes that produce greenhouse gases. These processes include burning of coal, gas, oils, and other combustibles. The proposed charging station will reduce the use of this energy by creating their own sustainable energy. Some data will be concluded, possibly reference pace of sight and gold in some way. Okay, good. All right, here again, we're seeing that he did not complete his description of the problem in the background because here he's talking, he's finally introducing why grid power uh, might not be exactly what we want to use. Okay, but then here is, this is good. He's describing how his plan will reduce use of grid power and thus greenhouse gas emissions. But again, he needs to put an estimate in here about how much it will reduce greenhouse gas emissions and a little justification for his estimate. Student involvement in campus sustainability. As part of the proposed plan, a team or department will be created to construct and build a charging station. Students will be required to make this project work. This will provide opportunities for students to engage. Blah, blah. Okay. So, again, good, except like, this is stuff he all needed to hammer out in his plan of action. So, it doesn't belong here, but this. It's good. Conclusion. Installation of SBCS will help improve UC sustainability by lessening its environmental impact. The stations will reduce grid power use, which will have two major effects, reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, reduced energy costs by producing self-sustained power. These also provide opportunities for student involvement. Students are a major contributor to PACES and UC sustainability. The stations will provide secure charging locations for these students' body. There will no longer be a need to search for open outlets in lobbies of campus or buildings. Okay, so this is good. Good conclusion, just a little out of order. This probably needs to go first because it describes the actual plan. And then he should put he should make all of his selling points bullet points. Um, so he's got GHG emissions and power. He needs to put reduced grid power use here as a bullet point and opportunities for student involvement as another bullet point. All right, other than that, good. And then he has a page for references. You can use whatever style guide you want and a page for the appendix. All calculations.
Okay. 